Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and today on this part two of our NFED and antenna adventure, uh, we're going to take a look at um, uh, the SWR of the uh, 9 to 1 Un Un, got it right this time, uh, <laughs> that we're using um, with a basically sloping wire going up to a pole. The pole is at 31 feet, we're about 40 feet away from it, so do the math, it's probably around 50 feet of wire. I didn't measure it because it's just random. Uh, that's the whole point of this, by the way. Um, and the uh, website, the E-R-E-A-R-C website, says this thing is good through on 40 through 6 meters, roughly. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my MFJ antenna analyzer and have a look at the SWRs on the different free on the different bands. So this is just going to be a series of pictures, and then if there's anything interesting to talk about, we'll talk about it for a sec. So this is just going to be, a, a, hopefully, a, a short video. The last one was a little bit on the long side. My first edit was around 45 minutes. I had to really nix that down to the 18 that it was. So um, thanks for sticking with us on this one, and I'm going to try to keep these shorter, five, six minutes max. So that's really my goal for the whole channel is five, six minute videos, but uh, still working toward that. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for sticking with us, and uh, let's get to the pictures. So we're going to start at 160 meters, and then work our way up to 6 meters. And so um, we'll look at the SWR on each of these. Now, mind you, this is a 9 to 1 balance, so if it's a 450 ohm load on the antenna, it's going to be 50 ohms at the, at the uh, um, antenna analyzer. And so the idea here is that balance gives the tuner less work to do. So we should be able to use a simpler tuner than, say, um, you know, like a, a, a high range L match, which is what my, my normal one is. And instead, we're going to build something a little a little simpler and hopefully we'll do the job just fine. So um, let's get to it. All right, so a quick seat of the pants analysis says that this thing is going to be useful on 5 megahertz and up, so 60, 60 meters and up. Now, it looks like it might be usable at the top end of 80. I'm not sure if it'll tune that and actually be you know, efficient. Probably not. It's not very long. Uh, not, not a very long antenna, um, so I'm not going to, probably going to try that. But um, the SWR was around 9, 9 or 10, I think. But um, notice the SWR was pretty high at the bottom of the 40 meter uh band as well. But all the other bands looked pretty decent. Now, uh, when it comes to 40 meters, I have another antenna that works beautifully on 40 meters, so I'm actually not too concerned about it. Uh, if it won't tune up, it won't tune up. Um, I can always shorten or lengthen the antenna to see if that helps. But um, this looks like it has a, a passable SWR that'll easily be tuned. And one thing I thought was really interesting was that at 40 meters, the impedance uh, was 75 ohms, which is perfect for the 75 ohm coax that I'm going to be using. Um, so it'll actually be carrying no SWR mismatch on the coax. And then the uh, the rest can be done at the tuner, which I think is pretty cool. Um, now some of them, the some bands, it was around 18, 20 ohms. Some of them it was 190 ohms. Uh, so that's closer to 75 than 50 is. Uh, or I should say 50 is further away from that than 75 is. So um, more justification for using 75 ohm coax on this. Anyway, uh, so thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting to you. And if not, well, then sorry. So if it was, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, share it. So thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time.